Soothing. <laughs> and welcome to the Super Funnels of Happy Done Pedal Show. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex. And I'm Gabor. And we have the Zeroth Law. Yeah. By FD Electronica. Hello, Valerio. Hello. All the way in Italy. Uh, and we had a little bit of um, Holy Grail in the intro. Yes, yeah, some reverb from For me. some ambiance. That's it. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> so, the Zeroth Law. Uh, it's basically a uh, version one and version two. I didn't even know that there were two versions because I've got one of them of the uh, Deathbot Audio Robot. Right. Thrown together with some extra stuff. Some more madness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So um, today we have some lovely clean tones. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is a quite a nice Epiphone Sheraton from the 90s uh, through a Dommel style amp. Yes. Sounds beautiful. Mm, Absolutely beautiful. That's not going to last long. Okay, so the Zeroth Law. <coughs> it's basically a sort of fuzz bit crusher type thing with added benefits. Cool. So it's got kind of ring modulation a kind of kind of octave kind of vibe going in there and then it has this arpeggiator step thing where it goes through different frequencies within the ring modulator um, so basically you've got two knobs um, up here one's volume and one's called OSC or oscillator to me it's well it's a speed of how fast the uh, arpeggiator goes but then it also it, it lowered a bit rate with the all right, okay. Big crush on all that stuff. Cool. Then you've got the big, no big knob here, which has got four settings. It's got normal, octave down, octave up, and arpeggiator. Mm -hmm. And you've got those four knobs here, which that's kind of cool, just having knobs like that. I, I think They're I like was... press buttons. They're little, they? little buttons, yeah. Like ejector seat buttons. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's totally James Bond gadget type. Very much so. Or Knight Rider, if you're from that <laughs> era. Um, so you've got one called down, one called up, one called Rob. I oh, know. Yeah, Rob. It's ro Rob's. And uh, which robot, and one is called Vip, uh, which I guess is vibrato, cool. which is more of a like a like a tremolo kind of thing than a vibrato. But I mean, because um, I don't think it does pitch, I think it does more of a volume kind of. But anyway, okay. uh, and then up here you have actually, which is really cool, you've got a photo cell. Hmm. So um, some of the parameters, I guess, the oscillator probably. Um, if you turn it on, it's it's light sensitive. So by having brighter light and by having no light, it changes to where it is. It's kind of like theremin type. Sort of. There's actually, if you check out the actual FT Electronica demo video of it, they've got like a strobe light going while the guy's playing. Oh, cool. It's really cool, actually. And it makes crazy noises. And it sort of follows this, the, it really follows the pulse of the strobe. Nice. <coughs> so that's it. So uh, let's yep. start off on the normal setting. To me, um, the oscillator part in this kind of, it's the bit rate. Okay. So how how crushed you crush your bit crusher. Sure. So on all the way off, which is what it is now, and also there's actually, I should mention, there's tons of volume on the thing. So if you yeah. crank it, it gets ridiculously loud. Which is, that's the one thing I remember the robot as well. Oh yeah. It sure. was on like barely on and it was ridiculously yeah, loud. Cool. Um, so with the oscillator all the way down like this, if we turn it on now, that is kind of like a fuzz bit crusher sound, which sounds suchly. Cool. 
Now, as I turn that That's up, a cool sound in it. It's really fat and really cool. It's almost like a um, it's fat yet kind of narrow at the same time. It's almost like a. Um, it has like sort of um, like a horn brass kind of yeah, yeah. vibe to it. Like if you play it nice. And then it kind of just goes away. But yeah, it's it's really nice, fat sort of single single note sound. Mm. And with chords as well, it's quite fat. Now I will start turning this down, and then we'll see what it sounds like. So you can hear it's starting to glitch out a bit. Hey? It's glitching out, and you yeah. can you can start hearing like you can with some bit crushes. As you turn it down, it there's these overtones that come in, which are almost like um, uh, ring modulator kind of overtones, which don't necessarily have to be in the pitch that you're playing in. Sure. It sort of is these weird, which is what ring modulators, I guess, mm. do. So you get these overtones coming in. Uh, another thing you can now do is you can add some of that vibrato to it. So the vibrato, if that's all the way off, doesn't do anything. So, and it's one of those things that if you turn it on, yeah. as you turn the bit rate down, the, the, the speed of it gets slower ah, sure. cool. so it 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 because it's the oscillator i suppose all the way one way it's, um, it's oscillating the fastest and as you go it slows down so um this the vibrato which to me sounds more like a volume thing yeah so it's more like a like a tremolo like a voltage controlled amplifier <laughs> <laughs> um um but let's see so, so as i turn it down and it gets there's some really low frequencies that happen in there yeah. as well. The tremolo or vibrato, it's like a ramped one, so it goes. Vroom, vroom. Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. Vroom. Yeah, vroom. so it's a, it's like it ramps up and it cuts really quickly. Yeah, um, it's cool. cool. I like that, especially for rhythmic type. Um, and actually, let's, let's quickly have a look at the photo cell. So the photo cell now is on. Instead of just doing like a, um, a speed, you can do patterns too. Yeah, yeah, you can do. We can do whatever. Yeah. And so forth and so on. Yeah, um, cool. Okay, so that's the normal setting. Right. <laughs> Now, let's go to octave down. So octave down is not necessarily an octave down. Yeah. Again, we're talking more ring modulator talk here, where it doesn't necessarily have to be an octave. It can be a note that is in a lower octave. Right. So let's just see how we go. Okay.
Do you see what I mean? It's like a, it's a ring modulator kind of thing. It's yeah. not like an octave octave. Yeah, sure. But it, it's cool. It has a... The only funny thing is when you... It sounds great, and then you hear the actual acoustic note of the string. Yeah, yeah that doesn't sound... That's, not the, that's a different note. But anyway, it's, you just find a pitch, I guess. But it's... Sure. Um, um, it's I, I quite like it. And then with this now, and then you've got the octave up. So to just hear the difference, right? So octave down. So you can add the, the vibrato part into that as well nice. to get that pulse. Yeah, right, cool. Um, which I think is kind of cool. And then you can do the photo cell. Let's just quickly do the photo cell thing as well on this. Okay, so you have octave up and octave down. Wow. Which again, it not it doesn't necessarily have to be an octave, but I, I, I'm I'm I remember it's the same with the robot. It's not like a clean octave. It's a it's a ring modulator which may or may not necessarily be the right <laughs> note. Yeah, sure. It's overtones yep. basically. It works on overtones. Now, <coughs> lastly, we have the arpeggiator, which sounds suchly. I was wondering why it didn't work. I was on the wrong setting. Sorry. Oh. This is the arpeggiator now. S sounded cool. Though. Take two. Well, that was the octave up. But I was wondering why the robot thing doesn't work. Okay. I didn't flick it all the way. So oh. now we're on the arpeggiator. Take two. I think it sounds pretty cool actually. You can still hear the original note and yeah. then it has that kind of weird arpeggiator thing over it. Like it's a set pattern. Yeah, yeah, sure. But then you have the up and down buttons. Oh, now, yeah. you can, with the up and down buttons, you can. I think it means you go up and down between some of those steps. Mm -hmm. So you go. So you can kind of you can kind of tune it because you find something that kind of sounds alright, and then with this you can kind of almost tune the pitch. Oh yeah. So you know. You... So if you're playing an E note, like. Oh, not like that.
Whoa. And now we're adding a vibrato to it. And every time you hit oh. hit Rob, yeah, <laughs> Robo, every time you hit the robot button, it Me sort of it yeah. starts the the sequence kind of again. All oh, right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, can you get that really fast, um, like, fluttery kind of uh, modulation? What, the vibrato thing? Or? Yeah. Okay, that's right. It's cool. It's fantastic. <coughs> I don't know what I use it for, but it's cool. Well, I think that one of the things with that is what you would do is you would use that to start off some sort of a thing and then base everything else around it. It's I don't think it's a kind of pedal where you go, I have this tune and it needs a little bit of something and we're in a key of uh, B flat minor. <laughs> uh, let's do this. I don't think it works in that way. Unless you go to the normal setting. I think it's a kind of, this kind of pedal is something you would take. You, on, you write a song around it. You write a song around it, or yeah. you use it um, uh, where you, for example, with some after it where you can change pitch. So, for example, like put it in front of a whammy or something. Yeah, right. And then you use the whammy to change the pitch to whatever you want it to be, or, um, you know, that sort of thing. So you can make it what you want it to be. Mm. But I think that um, that sequence, it's just, I really like the way it sounds. Like, But again, you gotta put, you got, <laughs> you gotta. <coughs> it's not something that you can take, unless it flukishly does fit. <coughs> but you can't take a song and go, I'm gonna put that in it. You gotta have that and then build the song around it. Sure, gotcha. Um, or, like I said, do something that you, where you can change a pitch yeah. more drastically. Ah. Mm. I think it's really cool. It's I really like it. Fun. Definitely fun. Should we? Sure. Try it on bass. That, that's because good. especially the bit crusher part, just to, to yeah, like yeah. the fuzz thing, I think would sound really good on bass. I think so too. Let's try it. We'll be back. After this. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, Hello. Um, it looks like I'm, my face is being scanned. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <Sorry. Excellent. coughs> We've got a bass. <laughs> yeah.
take that, speakers. That's pretty <laughs> Eat a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich? Um, <laughs> but I know what everyone really wants to know. Do they? What does it sound like with a guitar going straight in? Oh, here you go. Here's one I prepared earlier. Pretty cool straight into it's great actually just just that <coughs> yeah, wow. I like it. Fantastic. But I like that sort of stuff. Yeah. I could sit at home with that, just mucking around with that and getting ideas for stuff for hours. Cool. This could be a day, just sitting there, just playing around <laughs> with it. No, I mean that, and then you whack some delay on or you put some other True. things on. Well, actually, this with the, um, with the absinthe together. Oh, yeah. It was sure. wild. Yeah. There's a video which... You may be able to watch here. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff with um, ambient delays or reverb type effects is really cool too. Yeah. Because then you get into, it's not just crazy sounds, it becomes crazy soundscapes. Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, you have all that pulsating going on. You have rhythmic things. You know? Yeah. It's, cool. I think it's really good. I'm a big fan. I really like, um, I mean, the two pedals we got um, from... Thank you, Valeria, uh, from Italy, uh, from FD Electronica. Both are, uh, I think, really, really good. I really, really enjoy playing with both of them. I think they both look really, really good. Yep. Very cool. um, I love, love, love. I've never seen this on any other pedal. I may be wrong, but I've never seen this on any other pedal. Push buttons. Yeah. Never seen that on any other pedal. Like, Super neat. It's just awesome. Um, cool. When I first opened it, I went, what? Do you twist it like that? That's a button. <laughs> it's low. But um, I think it's great. I really enjoy it. Um, thank you so much, um, Valeria, once again. Make sure to check out the Absinthe video here. <laughs> um, and go and check out their website. Uh, there'll be links below. Um, all the demos they do in-house as well are really good. So um, go and check them out. And there's literally, I reckon, 50 different pedals. Hmm. Um, all really cool stuff, all really interesting stuff. It all looks really cool. Um, I like to, just the choice of knobs and stuff and fonts. It's great. I really like it. Very cool. So looks, sound, thumbs up from me. <laughs> hey, while you check that videos, um, if you could press the subscribe and the little notification bell. Yes, please. 
send you a message when we put a new um, video up and keep up to date with what we're doing. That'd be really cool. Also, there's a podcast. Yes. This is on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. Yes. Got so you right. can, just about anywhere, you can listen to Pretty us Pretty much now. all over the internet. As well as Instagram, which will sure all be below. And yes. um, check it out. Yes. Yeah. Well. That's it. It's crazy. See you next time. See you around. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.